first other job I had was um, modeling. I see a whole bunch of campaigns. Whatever is what people are actually like. Yeah. And it's like for 30 years, bro, however long. Like, I need to know. And it was mad because what was in that text message? Yo, I had to go, oh, delete. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Compton and welcome to the Be Cool Studios podcast. And in this segment, we've got 10 questions with Kofi. Are you ready? Yes, sir. All right. So question number one, what is your top three basketball players of all time? Oh, uh, easy. Um, Alan Iverson, Kobe Bryant and Tracy McGrady. Why? Alan Iverson, he's the one that got me into basketball when I was like 10. I had cane rolls and that's when my life was like a little bit all over the place. And I saw him and I just saw myself in him. Just He was just a bigger version. His persona, the way he carried himself. I was just like, yeah, I want to be just like him. Kobe Bryant, my next phase of life, I saw the similarities in terms of like my focus, dedication, uh, my attention to detail and just the way he carried himself. And I just felt... Like, I resonated with that now at another stage. And Tracy McGrady, I play quite upright and I like to be in my own groove and flow. And he's just super smooth. He's got a swagger with it. He's got a swagger with it. Obviously, I'm tall and and lanky. Yeah. So, like, I just thought it was swagger the way he went about doing it, how he did his thing. I just quite resonated with that as well. Oh, wicked, wicked. Like, I like that. Like, and I can see where the, the mental health side thing come from Kobe as well, like that Mamba mentality. That's what I'm saying, but that helped me throughout my career as a pro, bro. Yeah, Mamba really mentality is. all day. By the way, um, slight thing when well, my little boy is called Kobe. He's See, named after Kobe Bryant. Don't even blame me, bro. I'd, yeah, <laughs> so I'd that's, that's that one too. thing. So what is one of the most out-of-character thing you've ever done? I'm a wild card, you know, anyway. So, like, nothing's really out of character for me, I'd say. Most out of character thing, I would say... Uh, I did a Native American spiritual retreat when I lived in Colorado. It was like a massive... Tell us, tell us a little bit about like, that, that like experience. Massive, like a massive TP where it was, like, on mud in in somewhere in Colorado, um, in na- on like native lands. And we was in there, there was like special like smoke and it was like a retreat. We was all in there and it was like really hot stones. And it was about yeah. connecting to like yeah, energy, power, yeah, energy, energy and just, it's like a sauna basically. Yeah. And we was in there for like eight to 10 hours, bro. <laughs> and I just found a new lease of life and I just got to be in there and just think at first, I was very uncomfortable. Yeah. I was like, I want to get out. And then I was like, be in it, stay in it. And I think um, it was just so eye-opening for me to get to know myself. And obviously, we don't even have Native Americans over here. So I got to really learn about their culture. culture. At my high school, just before I went to one of these, uh, my university, we was called the Apaches, my high school team. Yeah. So it was very, it was Important. very ironic that now I had an opportunity to be around actual Native Americans, not yeah. just the name of my basketball team. Yeah and learn about their culture and and what they go through and stuff like that. And um, yeah, it was really eye-opening. Good. Next question. If you could bring back any fashion trend, what would it be? What hasn't come back? I like... There was a, there was a, there was a trend, yeah? <laughs> Especially in Brom, anyway, in Birmingham. We used to... Only we used to get our laces and only tie them at the very front of our shoe. So the first two loops, we yeah. tie them and we do this thing where we had like bowls, like really big, big bowls. Big so it was like three big bowls on each side, and it was only at the very front of the shoe. But we used to wear boot cuts back then. Yeah. So yeah. the boot cuts would go all the way to the front of the shoe. Yeah. So the shoe actually looked about this big. big. You get me? And that was that was that was a wild time in life. We was all listening to like four, four, four baseline house music we were traveling to other cities it was just a raver time you feel me yeah. it was air max 95s 110s and we was wearing night techs and like like adidas tracksuits you know what i mean so if i could bring that back it was very nostalgic because after that i moved to america so yeah. i just jumped straight into like yeah. american culture yeah. Yeah. Um, 
if you had your own late night talk show, who would be your first guest, dead or alive, and why? Ah, that's tough. That um, I'm I'm hundred percent having Kobe Bryant on there, but my very first guest is probably Nelson Mandela. Ooh, because that's deep. how many decades he spent in prison? For and not- came out on because he went in on a mili- on a militant vibe. Yeah, came out on a peace vibe when he really should not have even went in there. So in the first place, yeah. And then to go from that to what was it that president of South Africa yeah. as a black man? I just need to know change bro. history. Didn't and it? if you look at like the details, bro, it was the the cell was t- was wasn't even this size. And then we was he's not just in there chilling, he's getting tortured he, as well. Yeah, he's tortured and he's having to like break up. Rocks, bro. Like for thirty years, bro. However long, like I need to know what was that experience like. That experience of finding yourself in there, because you 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 get to know you now. Do you know what I mean? And I'd like to know his like thought patterns of what experience. That's good. That's good. Good. What is the last album you listened to, start to finish? Uh, either Young Teflon, um, his album, or no. Yeah, I listened to that, but no, I listened to Stardom's um, Street Profit. He's from Birmingham, rapper from okay. Birmingham. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like to keep it local. Okay, okay. If you had to eat one meal every day for the rest of your life, what would it be? I've got this thing right now with. Um, You're a healthy guy? Healthy eating? Somewhat, but I combat <laughs> the healthy eating with like just working out a lot, so I don't know. But I really like tacos. Oh, Taco Tuesday? Yeah, I'm trying to taco every day. I'm on that. But it's like, after living in America, like Miami, yeah. there's a lot of like Hispanic people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Proper Hispanic people and their food proper. So I think right now it'd be that because you can have like a lot of variety. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. All right. um, have you ever sent a text message to the wrong person? Yeah, 100%. And it was mad because what was in that text message? Yo, I had to go, oh, delete. Oh, I had to we're lie. Not, we're not going to ask you. We're not oh, going to ask you to tell us oh, what was I in had, it. I had to lie and say, yo, that weren't me. That Someone else sent that through my phone to you. And the person was like, what? I was like, yeah, phones all over the place. It was wild. Oh, my uh, God. If we, if you had to delete all the apps on your social media page, um, on your phone, which one would you keep? Which three would you keep if you had to delete all the apps on your phone? The one that's been giving me life the most. Pinterest. Keeping that, you know, mood boards. Yeah, you know, all of that. You bro. get me. Tro- like, I'm not even going to front. Like, that is where my shoot starts. Yeah, mood board, create a board. Um, and I never even knew about Pinterest until I started modeling. You get into modeling. Because that's where my agency was sending me mood boards. Yeah. like, oh, and there's everything on there. So I'm keep, definitely keeping Pinterest. I'm keeping Twitter because everything starts on Twitter. Instagram. <laughs> the mouse says the same thing. <laughs> Twitter is a wild place. But it's funny because Instagram is what people want themselves to look like. Yeah. Twitter is what people are actually, actually yeah. like. And it's not regulated. Unfiltered. It's unfiltered. And it's so yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah. Especially when there's a calamity going on. It's banter. So I'm definitely keeping Twitter. And I think Instagram... But I wouldn't keep my main page. I'd keep my art page. Okay. Because my art page, only thing I follow on there is architecture, art, fashion. Um, Things that age. inspire. Yeah, just straight okay. inspiration. Straight inspiration. Good, 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 man. Uh, what was the first ever job you had? First ever job I had was... Oh, I was a um a barista, so okay. I can make every coffee in the world. Can I don't even drink coffee, but yeah, I was at Birmingham Airport, and my homeboy got me a job. Can you like a part time job? You can whip so up like, a quick Costa that style thing. Yeah, like a Starbucks type thing, nice. like cappuccino, frappuccino. Like I'm frothing. Coven days, I was I'm Frothing the milk <laughs> and that, you get me. I'm shaking it into the young. Cup. That's good. That's good. That, 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 mm. So he's a barista, basketball player, mental health. What else did you say you did? Model, artist, Model, artist, public speaker. Have you got space for anything else? I'm trying to. I'm trying to not add stuff, <laughs> but I'm probably going to. I want to learn how to make architecture, like, like how to design. Yeah, I want to like make furniture. Like I'm going to IKEA and I'm scouting. 
and getting ideas, then I want to like start getting saws and yeah. hammers and stuff. My, uh, my dad did something, not furniture, but did something quite similar. He, he he designed by hand uh, the layout of an estate, a sugar estate. Wow. And he used to have this whole big, across all the bedroom walls, you see this this design and I'm like, Insane, it's like crazy. the detail he went into it. Um, so shout out, Mr. Harry. There's a guy and, called Daniel Arsham. I don't know if you know who he is, but he's he's like colorblind and he makes some of the most amazing fine art. And he's in culture, collab- like he collaborates with yeah. Bape, um, Pokemon, NBA. Just that, and he did just he draw? Stuff. Did he draw like a mural or something? He does it murals, did, but everything by, by it's pencil, black by and, hand, it's black, black and white. And yeah, I'm sure I've is, seen it. Everything's about tones with yeah. him because he can't see colour. No. So the different tones is amazing, but then he actually creates real stuff like cars. Yeah. And also, he's just fantastic, man. So don't shout out you, Daniel. And to, and to wrap it up, final one, where do you see yourself in the next 12 months? 12 months, you know. Um, what month are we in? October. I, I see my business rolling. I see my first collection of clothing being official, I see multiple partnerships that I'm speaking into existence have been completed. I see everything's why not I based. I see yeah. that um, modeling, I see a whole bunch of campaigns, elite campaigns that I want. Um, yeah, more so just why not I because I feel like that's not about me. That's about using me to do so much more. Yeah, Basketball is about me. Much you're just the vehicle me. that's going to take it to where it yeah, needs to yeah, go. Yeah. So I'm, I'm loving that's, that. That's dope. That's dope. Um, so, yeah, that's been 10 questions, quick fire questions with Kofi. I've been Compton, and you know the motto be cool, be true, be you. Peace. 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 Yeah, I want to know what's in that text, though.